Hi there everyone, I want to thank you ever so much for joining me for the first part of the LinkedIn tutorial series. Now in this particular video, I'm going to be taking you step by step through the process of how to create and set up your account and then also how to populate it so you reach the 100% completion of your LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to start by just giving you an overview of my particular profile on LinkedIn just so we get an understanding of what is required in each of the fields in order to get this over here which is 100% profile completeness. Now if we go from the top, obviously you'll need to attach some sort of image so people can see you, um, fill out your name, it's got your current position and also the industry in which you work. Now this box here is the tweet box, that's what I posted. Then we have the current position past positions, education, recommendation, the number of connections I have, and this is kind of like the number of friends or people that are in your network. Uh, then we've got different websites, a Twitter account, and here's where we start getting to the meat of the information. So we've got a summary, and this is basically the, a brief breakdown of what you do and kind of your approach and how you go about doing it. Followed by that, we've got specialities, and these are things that you very, very much specialize in. Then we have experience, so we've got the different job titles followed by the date and where that was located. And if you scroll all the way down, then we have skills and expertise. And this is quite a new feature, it's become a bit of a mandatory one though on LinkedIn in order to get your 100%. So it has keywords, things that you do, things that you specialize in, so you'll want to put that in. Again, it helps to, to make you searchable. Then we have education. So these are the colleges, universities, and recommendations. Now these are really important. Like anything now uh, on Web 2.0, um, it really much relies on what people say about you and how you've interacted and the kind of jobs that you've done and how well you've done them. So this is kind of like social recommendation or social validation. Then we go below that and we've got additional information, so websites, uh, interests, and then we've got a big long list here of different groups that I've either created or that I'm part of. Now we'll get onto that a little bit later because they are really important. Also there's a section for honours and awards, you can fill that in, that's optional. Then we've got personal information and then we have uh, contacts for me. Now the contacts are how you would like to be contacted, so preferably if you're using LinkedIn and you want to be contacted in a particular way, maybe via email, mobile phone, any particular preference, that's where you put them down there. And just here is where you put your apps. Now LinkedIn is really good because it allows you to integrate lots of different apps, so things like SlideShare, presentations, which are fantastic. Also we've got WordPress blogs, if you've got a few you can pop them there and then you've got things like reading lists by Amazon, so if you've read any particular books for your business or uh, a personal uh, books that you like to read, you can then recommend them to other people and you can set up various functions with that. So that's basically the overview of LinkedIn and a general account in order to complete the 100% profile completeness. So now we're going to go across to www.linkedin.com and I'm going to show you how to create an account from scratch. So you'll land on the page, uh, if it hasn't loaded up go join today and fill out your first name and then you'll want to fill out a surname, pop in an email and also stick in um, some sort of password. And then we'll click join now. So now we're going to want to put in some of the detail. So it's asking where you live, then a postcode, and whether you are currently employed, job seeker or a student, and that will change some of the search criteria. Then the job title, and then the company and what it's going to do is actually bring up a list of companies that it thinks it could be using the search options within LinkedIn so we'll just click on the one that's appropriate then we'll go to create my profile now what it's going to do here it's going to try and look for contacts or connections so these are people that are already on my email uh, list or on my email contacts so we need to just put that detail in so I'll put in my password and click continue. And because it's a new email for the purpose of demonstrating this there are no contacts there but if you had contacts they'd come up and you click continue. So for now I'll just skip this step 
and there it's giving you an idea of what it's going to look like at the top of the screen so I've just joined and it's going to ask me to share that so I'll, I can, you can share those details on Facebook and Twitter but I'm just going to skip this step also and it's going to ask me what type do I want now there are a few different account types on LinkedIn so you've got the very basic um, then you have the premium ones and there are very different prices but it depends on what your needs are you can look at the criteria down there and make your decision I'm going to go with the basic one and that gives me all the options that I need